sometimes is like people say things and it's just like, why do you say that? Where'd you get that from? You know what I mean? Like that is the most out of pocket thing ever. Why would you say that? But you know, you just can't let some things disrupt you. Like you can't let anything disrupt you as a matter of fact. I mean because the moment you do that it's just the moment you're like gone you know I don't know though I feel a little bit to be honest with you just not discombobulated but just out of sorts I don't, I don't know how else to explain it I don't know what it is um, and it's not a good feeling you know, and I don't want to be like all like paranoid and, and what have you, but usually I I would ignore <laughs> certain things, like certain ways I feel like I would ignore it. Like, oh, it's nothing. It just happens. It's, it's just nothing. But I feel as I'm getting older and in my walk with Christ, he's showing me that, no, it's, it is something. Your body's way of respond into something telling you that something is off but i don't know what it is so interesting you know how people at one minute they think you need them like people think you need them and i know i was touching touching on on this last time i was touching based on this last time that people think you need them and when you are not really sure of who you are and not just that before that when you are not when you don't know god then you don't know who you are the best way to know who you are is by knowing god oh good god like how can you go out there and seek your identity in a person from a, a person who they don't even know god themselves you see what i'm saying how hmm and so that's what I was doing. I was trying to seek my worth in someone. And they failed miserably because why? You cannot, your identity is found only in Jesus Christ Almighty. That's what I've come to realize. I didn't know that before. But glory be to God. He's so loving. He's so patient. He's so merciful. You know? And so I realized I got myself into these relationships of unworthy undeserving people that didn't even deserve me you know they didn't even deserve me and i don't want to come across as being um stuck up and conceited like oh you don't even deserve me darling no but honest to god when you know who you are <laughs> and you see who it is that was in your life you have like for me i don't know about you but for me i look over my life now and i'm just like you know what this is there's something that i'm thinking i'm like but i can't say that because that is rude and it's not godly but there's one thing i was thinking that that person was good for at the time and you know anyways it's besides the point and so it's like why did i even put myself in situations like that oh my gosh like what what was <sighs> i'm not gonna beat myself up though I'm not I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because you know what it doesn't happen already the past is the past we're not trying to rehash that we're not trying to relive that um, we just go we just gonna let it go okay but yeah, man, that's what I'm coming to realize. When you know who you are in God, in Jesus Christ, once you start walking with him, and he shows you who you are and what he did for you, and how much he loves you, it's like, dude, not any and anybody can be I can be with. No, because they will kill your purpose. If you're with the wrong person, they can kill your purpose. But when 
you're with the right person, it's like something just happens where it's like, you know, wow, like you can step into your identity. When God placed you with that right person, you can now be placed into the identity of who you really are, who God has really truly called you to be, is what I'm saying. But when you ain't walking for God, man, and you letting these any and anybody come into your life, they make a mess of it. And it takes for the grace of God, for his mercy and his grace to really and truly get you out of that situation and show you who you are in him. I guess the point I'm trying to make is honest to God, know who you are. I'm still trying to figure it out. I haven't said that I've arrived or anything like that, but I'm just saying like, just it's so important. It's so vital to know who you are in Christ, you know, and allow him to lead you to the right people. Because so long, I was just like in this daze of thinking, okay, wondering who am I? Who, who was like, you know? Right. And so now I'm getting to that place where I'm just like, what did I see in you? What did I see in you? And so now God is allowing me to say, girl, get over it. Um, what is done is done. Move on. And just trust that I got you.